developments in the postal situation all seem to happen overnight, and this morning is no different. Mm -hmm. Canada Post a few hours ago announcing it will extend its lockout deadline from tomorrow to Monday. Yeah, that's right. In a statement released earlier this morning, Canada Post says it would like to go to binding arbitration with the union that's representing 50,000 of its workers. It reads, while negotiated settlements are always the preferred option, the parties remain far apart on key issues at the bargaining table. It is our hope that Cup W will consider submitting to binding arbitration to end the uncertainty. There's no word yet whether the union will agree to those terms. Just yesterday, the union filed an unfair labor practice complaint against the Crown Corporation, claiming Canada Post failed to bargain in good faith. So for now, mail delivery will continue tomorrow. Post offices will be open through the weekend, but that could all change come Monday morning. Black Lives Matter holding a news conference later on this morning to discuss their sit-down protest that, of course, happened during the Pride Parade on Sunday. BLM Toronto held up the march for about a half hour as they demanded changes from organizers, including more participation from LBGDQ minority groups within Pride and a commitment to ban police floats from future parades. During the press conference today, they plan to discuss the media reaction to their protest and the mayor's response, all of which were on the negative side. Well, Donald Trump speaking out for the first time over his controversial and since deleted tweet showing Hillary Clinton and what looks like the star of David. Now, the presumptive GOP nominee is defending the image that's been widely criticized as anti Semitic. Trump expressed no regrets for his post. Instead, he says his staff should not have deleted it, replacing the star with a circle. His bizarre defense also making its way onto Twitter, where he shared an image of a frozen inspired sticker book that shows a similar six pointed star. Trump writes, Where is the outrage for this Disney book? Is this the star of David also? Dishonest media, hashtag frozen. Clinton responded with her own frozen theme tweet saying, do you want to build a straw man? Well, that, of course, is a play on the movie's song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? And the race for the White House took another wacky turn when Trump was interrupted by a mosquito during his rally in Cincinnati last night. The Democrats, ooh, there was a mosquito. I don't want mosquitoes around me. I don't like mosquitoes. I don't like those mosquitoes. I never did. Okay, speaking of mosquitoes, Hello, Hillary. How are you doing? Trump's presumptive nomination could be made official in about two weeks from now. The Republican convention kicks off in Cleveland July 18th. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, for the first time in over a month, the Jays have swept a three-game series, and potential All-Star Michael Saunders is bolstering his case to make the All-Star team. Toronto fans supporting their Canadian boy, native, of course, of Victoria, British Columbia. And he gives them something to cheer about. The fourth solo shot puts Toronto on the board. one nothing over KC so far. Jays up 2-1 in the eighth. Kansas City ties it. The solo home run off Marcus Stroman. He went eight innings, giving up just those two runs and three hits. Home half of the eighth. A couple of Canadian guys deliver with the two out. And on second, Saunders doubles to center. Brings in the go-ahead run. Then Russell Martin goes the other way to cash in Saunders. Toronto wins it 4-2. We're still two and a half behind Baltimore in the AL East. As for the All-Star voting, Saunders is in the lead to be the American League team's final man. So far, almost 5 million votes in one day alone. Thank you, Breakfast Television viewers. <laughs> if you haven't yet, cast your ballot at MLB.com or BlueJays.com. Voting ends at 4 tomorrow afternoon. Big game Tuesday in San Diego. Emilus Raonic booking his ticket to the Wimbledon semifinal where he'll have his work cut out for him. The 25-year-old will face 34-year-old superstar Roger Federer tomorrow morning. Hopefully the old man will be tired. We're hoping, we're hoping. <laughs> Federer needed five sets to beat Marin Cilic yesterday. Raonic needed four to beat Query.